Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? Take a look at that gorgeous pen. Can you recognise it? Yes, you can recognise it straight away. We've got a Schaefer Balance Combo Fountain Pen and Pencil. Now, first of all, th this particular pen came to me from a lady by the name of Roz. Um, she emailed me, she said she found her father's uh, fountain pen, which is this one. She'd like to get it serviced, cleaned up, etc. so that she could use it. So she sent it over to me and, well, it, you know, although it was actually quite good condition, all we've done is cleaned everything internally, put a new sack in it, giving it a polish, etc. Just simply just cleaned the whole pen up, ready to send back tomorrow. So, as I say, um, these particular pens, you don't see them very often, so I thought it'd be a good, a good case to actually do a pen review, because as I say, it's a Schaefer Balance, um, it's actually the full-size Schaefer Balance, and as we said, it's the fountain pen and pencil combo. So, they're not rare, but they're not very common. So... As I said, I thought, right, let's do a review before we send the pen back. So, as you can see, it comes in this beautiful, well, what they term as marine green and black marbling colour. In absolutely gorgeous condition, as you can see there. Now, the size of it, from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel... It's a lovely 152 millimeters capped and around the barrel it's a nice chunky, it's approximately 11.5 millimeters in diameter. So as we said it is actually the, the full size version and as you can see it's this sort of torpedo shaped which is very current for that particular period. And when I say period, I'm dating the pen to the very early 1930s, uh, maybe running through to sort of mid-1930s, but I would say early 1930s. As we said, in this lovely marine green, comes with gold fill trim. You can see it's got this quite a broad sort of cap band to the end of the cap there. You've got the very recognisable Schaefer's and this particular one is the early version. You can see what we term as a humped ball clip because, well, says what it says on the tin, humped. It's got this slight hump to the middle there. Uh, so it's the early um, humped ball clip. And then to the top, as I say, we've got this sort of like peak and this sort of tapering to the end. One thing that you'll notice... Um, there's no white dot on this particular pen, it's the non-lifetime version. Now, let's take you to the barrel imprint. There you go, you've got a barrel imprint there. And to be quite honest with you, I forgot what it's, it's some sort of rubber company. Now, Ross said that she believed, because her, her, her father used worked at, I think it was a paper mill or something like that, and she believes this pen was gifted to him by the representative of this specific company. Okay, so there you go. You can see it's got a lovely engraving there. If I turn it a little bit further round, um, it's a little bit on the worn side, but it's still sort of quite legible. I'm hoping you can see it on the video. And the barrel imprint... Uh, reads W.A. Schaefer Pen Company to the left of Canada Limited, Toronto, Pat, and then it's got some Pat numbers, I believe. Okay, so it's a Canadian-made Schaefer balance. As we've said, you can see it's a fountain pen, pencil combo. So, let's take the cap off. Okay, let's show you the the pen in different angles. It's a lovely size pen. As I say, it's the full size. 
let's take you up to the section incidentally when she actually sent me the pen for a service what I tend to do all pens that I receive I get I give sorry I give them a full inspection first of all see if there's any issues and one of the issues that I found on the thread here to the barrel it had a severe crack um, not only a crack but it actually opened up quite wide um, there's a photograph of it there okay as a close-up but it had this severe crack to the threads what I've actually done is cut it out from inside the barrel um, sort of epoxied it together filled it etc and if I turn it round there well you can see we can't see the crack or maybe you can see it but it's been stabilized and it looks a lot better than it did when I received it so as I say we've got a short section there let's show you the nib we've got a Schaefer's made in Canada 14 carats 585 and this is the number 5 nib which I believe I think they did a number 3 and a number 7 so well I believe this is sort of the medium size uh, nib the number 5 but it says made in Canada which is correct for the pen there's a sideways view let's take you underneath there's the section there you can see everything is lovely and clean as it should be like a well yeah what we term as a ladder feed underneath there so all in all the pen is ready to go back to Ros tomorrow it's a lovely sized pen nice and comfortable well actually when I say nice and comfortable let's bring on some ink and dip the nib in the ink first of all okay we can see some some bubbling going on there which is precisely what we want to see let's give the the nib a bit of a wipe ink to one side let's bring on some paper and well you're seeing what I'm seeing let's see how the pen writes if we need to adjust it before it goes back so what we have is a Schaefer Schaefer balance combo as we said made in Canada the very early 1930s it's writing I would say with a fine line but writing very nicely I don't actually expect it to have any flex so there we go there's a writing sample So as you can see there's no flex but all in all writing very nicely okay so there we have it writing very nicely I would say with a fine line very nicely indeed so I'm very happy with the pen it just needs no adjustment and it's ready to go back to Ros so what we'll do we'll flush it out before it goes back let's screw the cap back on and there we have it an absolutely lovely full size Schaefer balance combo quite unusual not rare but you don't see them that often so that is why I thought I'd do a video on it in absolutely beautiful condition so Roz can actually 
enjoy the pen for many years to come and think about her father. I'm sure her father will be looking down, smiling when she's using the pen. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Have you subscribed? If not, subscribe now. And don't forget people, wherever you are around the world, please stay safe. But, for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.